Space Run Galaxy. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words. The words. The words. 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 Of the developer. Space Run Galaxy is a sequel to Space Run, the game from one man studio's past tech, which seduced hundreds of thousands of players with its dynamic and original gameplay. By twisting the tower defence game style, Space Run offered an addictive real time spaceship construction strategy experience. Am I to ring the bell there? I don't know. So, what is Space Run Galaxy? Well, it isn't a tower defence game. Totally. So if you're a tower defence hater, stick around, you might enjoy this. It's a fabulous game, I absolutely love it. And it's my current spare time go-to game. It's just so much fun to play. The way it works is this, you are given a spaceship. And it has got a story mode which I, I just, I'm just not really into, I don't know what the story's about. I just, I just don't care about the story at all and you know, yeah, alright. Sue me, you know, but I'm not interested. I'll just click through next, 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 next. I don't give a f what you're saying. I just like the actual combat in this game. It is so much fun. The way it is, you, your spaceship has all these tiles on it, and the tiles allow you to put various things on, such as cargo you're transporting, and a shitload of weapons, lots of stuff like generators, shields, repair units, and all sorts. And what you do is you trade from planet to planet. There'll be missions. Um, from to take cargo from one planet to another if you manage to do that successfully you will be given XP and also a reward of materials that you can use to craft things with now the XP is like a tier system the higher you get in levels the more stuff unlocks that you can craft and make so obviously you need to do that you need to do well getting from A to B with your cargo if you lose cargo you'll take a hit now also as well you've been timed to get across you're racing against kind of time um, if you do a fast delivery you get more XP and more reward and so to, to get across faster you have to build more engines but that could be and will be at the expense of weapon systems so it's all about balancing your load as you go across from planet to planet and on the way from planet to planet you will encounter all kinds of things from fleets of pirates to space monsters asteroid storms and all kinds of stuff like that certain cargo containers on your ship is quite volatile and will explode if hit so You've got to be very, very careful, but it adds such depth to the actual gameplay. There's also multiplayer in this. Um, it's not so much like a co-op experience where you both come on the same screen or you fight against other users. What it is, is there's like an online auction area where you can um, place things up for sale. And you can also leave cargo at a certain planet and say, look, if anyone takes this cargo from here to there, I'll give you you know 10,000 credits or something and so if you fancy doing some jobs for other players you can do that it's all good stuff and you can also buy new ships and you can you can expand your ships by buying new tiles that you can place around your ship in different places to add um, more space for cargo more space for weapons and more space for um, repairing things and, and, and other handy gadgets like that there's all different types of weapons as well you can manually co manually control some of the weapons to give them a bit of a boost so, so how it plays out is this, when you first start a mission, you take on the cargo, place it around your ship, and then you are launched out into space. You then have, I think it's around about 200 credits at your disposal. Now, you will be warned of where an attack's coming, whether it be asteroids, a mothership, or like a boss, or a fleet of pirates, or, or whatever. And so you might get a warning that from the uh, top right, there's going to be an attack of eight fighters or something. So you would need to put a turret on them. Now, most turrets are fixed, but you can create turrets that allow you to change that orientation a bit, which are really handy. You can only place the number of turrets down that you've actually built, so you have to build each turret before the mission. If you own eight turrets, you will have eight turrets available for deployment on that mission. And so, as the your spaceship heads across the galaxy, um, all these threats come from different sides, so you have to place your turrets in accordance with where the threat's coming. You have missile launchers, you have all kinds of stuff, ion cannons, lasers, uh, you have shields, you have repair units, you have all kinds of stuff really. You have in engines which are very important if you want a good score. Get a few engines on there to get your across from here to be faster. And that's basically how the game plays. It's a bit grindy because to get more um, weapons you need more money. To get more money you can just keep running between a couple of planets and just basically grind out the credits. That's what I'm doing at the minute. And I, but it's it's so much fun. You don't actually have any thing to steer while you while you're watching it going across. It just kind of does the journey yourself. What you're doing is is this is where the tower defense bit comes in. You're just placing around the turrets and stuff for. 
um, your ship to fire. They fire all automatically, which is a nice touch. But it's a great fun game, and as the enemy dies, they, they drop credits, and you just move your mouse over them, and, it, and they fire it into your ship, and that's how you, you earn your money. But there's a lot of different ship designs to choose from, a lot of different weapons and things to choose from, and it's a very good game. Just as, well, It's better than the first one. It's, it's not massively different from the first one, but... You know, if you don't own any of them but like the look of this, this is the one to buy because it is better than the first one. So there you go, guys. It's it's a great game. It's one of them games you can just pick up and do half an hour on and then go and play something else um, or unless you want to grind it away. But I'm just liking just picking it up for half an hour to an hour. For instance, last night I just picked this up and I did an hour. I did another hour last night. And it's, it's that kind of game. I don't really want to just hammer it now for the sake of doing this review. I know it's a good game. I know it's worth a buy. So there you go. It's also on sale. It's got 15% off. Um, it's £12.74 at the minute. Um, offer ends 4th of July. That's on Steam. So, so there you go, guys. Uh, Space Run Galaxy is definitely worth a buy.